continues now for the first time this season. Connecticut's severe cold weather protocol is in place. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Mike Cerullo is live in New Britain to explain what that means and what you can do to stay safe. And Mike, this really is uh, specific to a certain uh, part of the population. Yeah, Brian, this is uh, meant for state and local leaders to help our most vulnerable populations. They're making sure that places are open all around Connecticut uh, to make sure that people have a place to go, that they can escape the cold temperatures. It is pretty cold out here, and there are some flurries actually coming down right now in New Britain. Now, Government Ned Lamont activates the protocol when the state declares conditions are just too dangerous, even life-threatening outside. If you're out in the cold air for too long, it could lead to hypothermia. Some of the signs doctors say you should look out for are agitated behavior elevated heart rate and slurred speech and if you have relatives or neighbors who may need help making it through this cold stretch be sure to check up on them it's very important because they could go outside like my dad sometimes he tries to go outside and being the fact that he has dementia he could freeze out there because he's tried it before but now that my mom's there with him she watches him like a hawk Brian, if you or someone you know uh, out there need a place to go to escape these cold temperatures, you can call 211 to find the closest shelter to you. That's again 211. You can call that number and they'll tell you the closest shelter to you and you can escape these cold temperatures. But for now, live in New Britain, Mike Cerullo, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.